Good morning. It's good to see you today. Hope you've been doing well these past few days. Uh, it's good to be back with you. We're going to be thinking about Aaron today, looking in the Old Testament, and one of the characters last la, our, in our last study, I believe we spoke about Moses um, last week on this day, on Monday, or two weeks ago, I should say, but today we're going to talk about Aaron. And I want you to think about in a lot of these characters. There, there's so much we can say, and I'm not meaning these to be an exhaustive and a hugely in-depth study, but but I wanted you to just consider within the few minutes we have just just a few a few highlights or lowlights or whatever the case may be, but but just think about a few significant events in their life, and that's what we do with with our character studies both on Mondays and Tuesdays. So. Today, let, let's talk about Aaron. And I wanted you to think about what Aaron is going to have to overcome. And we'll, we'll start with this. One of the things that he's going to have to overcome, he's going to have to overcome pride. I want you to come to Numbers. In Numbers chapter 12. And let me get over there with you. Not in Exodus. We'll get to Exodus here in a minute. But in Numbers chapter 12, at verse 1, this is the account of Marion and Aaron Speaking against Moses, verse 1, they speak against him because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. We'll say this, usually when things happen, there's a lot of times an agenda. There's an agenda here, or at least there's a, an ulterior motive, we'll say. Uh, the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. Verse 2, though, listen to what they say. So they said, has the Lord indeed spoken only through Moses? Has he not spoken through us also? And the Lord heard it. Now, the man Moses was very humble, more than all men who were on the face of the earth. Has the Lord only spoken through Moses? Has he not spoken through us as well? I think one of the things that you can see that Aaron is going to have to overcome, he's going to have to overcome his pride. And it's going to pop up more than once. But that's, that's, what's, going to have to, that's what's going to have to happen. And I think it's easy to see how he could become proud um, because of, of his role that he's playing. But he's going to have to overcome that pride. And here, as you think about things like, like jealousy, has the Lord not also spoken through us? And they don't, they don't care for it that their brother, Moses, they don't, they don't like what he's doing. They don't like what he's done. And... As they look down their nose on his choices that he's made, they are elevated in their own eyes. They're going to have to overcome pride. Aaron's going to have to overcome pride. He's also going to have to overcome pressure. And for this point, we do come to Exodus. Um, look back in Exodus chapter 32. Exodus chapter 32. It's the account of the golden calf. Um, verse 1, the people saw Moses was delayed. Coming down from the mountain, the people gathered to Aaron and said to him, "Come, make us gold. Come, make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him." And Aaron said to them, "Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, your sons, your daughters. Bring them to me." So they did all that. Verse four: He received the gold from their hand and he fashioned it with an engraving tool and made a molded calf. And it's it's the account. They came and they say, do this, and Aaron agrees to it. One of the things that, that Aaron is going to have to do is he is going to have to overcome pressure. And Pardon me if I didn't have that scripture up on the screen. Um, he's going to have to overcome pressure, and that's what, all, that, that's what we all have to do because people will try to pressure us to do things that God does not want us to do, and we have to overcome that pressure. Aaron is also going to have to overcome sinful family. To look in Scripture, and I'm thinking of the account of Nadab and Abihu. In Leviticus chapter 10, Leviticus chapter 10 of verse 1, the account where Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, take strange fire. And we know what happens. Verse 2, fire went out from the Lord and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Moses said to Aaron, this is what the Lord spoke, that by those who come near me, I must be regarded as holy. Verse 6, Moses says to Aaron, do not uncover your heads, nor tear your clothes, lest you die. Um, Aaron had a job to do. 
But to think about what was happening, what Aaron is going to have to overcome is the same thing that we all have to overcome, that we have to overcome sinful family. His sons sinned, and God punished them for their sins. Now, when, when, our, when our family is not living like it should, whether it's our parents, whether it's aunts or uncles, whether it's children, whatever the case may be, when they choose to go down the wrong path, if they are choosing to go down the wrong path, we better overcome their choices and not, not go after them. We better not follow suit and we better recognize the mistakes that they've made because that's what Aaron is going to have to do. And it's hard to do because we love our family just as assuredly as Aaron loved his sons. But they sinned and God punished them for their sins. And Aaron is going to have to be okay with that. And within that is a good lesson for us. We have to overcome pride. We have to overcome pressure when people pressure us to sin. We have to overcome sinful family. And we have to overcome excuses that we might make along the way. And I want you to come back to Exodus. In the account of the golden calf in Exodus chapter 32, in Exodus 32, a little later in the chapter, verse 22, when he's confronted about what he's done, he says, Do not let the anger of my Lord become hot. You know the people that they are set on evil. Right? So it's the people's fault. For they said to me, Make us gods that shall go before us. Okay? It's their fault. They made me do this. As for this Moses, the man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we don't, don't know what has become of him. So maybe he's saying, this might really be your fault. Verse 24, I said to them, whoever has any gold, let him break it off. They gave it to me, I cast it into the fire, and this calf came out. It just happened. Right? It's their fault. It's your fault. Maybe it's God's fault. Whatever the case may be, it's not my fault. No, what Mo, what Aaron needed to do, Aaron needed to overcome making excuses. When we sin, we need to own our sin. We need to confess our trespasses one to another, pray for one another that we may be healed. And we need to confess to the Lord God Almighty. We better not make excuses for sin. We better own up to them. You might think about who it is who's going to be killing their brethren in that passage right after where we read. It's going to be the sons of Levi. Remember what family Aaron came from? Aaron's going to have a choice to make. When Moses makes that line in the sand, Aaron better own up to his sin and Aaron better get on the right side of things. And in order to do that, you're going to have to overcome pride. You're going to have to overcome pressure. You're going to have to overcome sinful family. You're going to have to overcome excuses if you're going to do what's right and be pleasing to the Lord. Just a little bit about Aaron. Appreciate you joining us today. Thanks for, thanks for staying along with us. Hope you have a good day, and I hope you tune in tomorrow morning as well. Appreciate you. We'll see you in the morning.